Okay, so my internet connection <laughs> might not be that great right now. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Perfect, just what I wanted. Uh, I need to test my audio. Yep, audio is fine. Uh, I don't know what just happened, <laughs> to be honest. I really have no idea what just happened. Uh, what is going on to the side of me? We've got a female moose just over there meandering. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix this to put it on YouTube. <laughs> That's perfect. But I'm going to have to figure this out at some point. <laughs> oh no. So now this comes the point in this entire uh, stream where I now have to figure out whether or not the last half of that actually saved. <laughs> I hope it did. Uh, yes, it did. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so now I've got two video files <laughs> to upload together. And I'm going to be completely honest, I am really stressing out. <laughs> oh no. I have a raid happen and... All of a sudden, the entire stream crashes. Perfect. My internet's perfect. <sighs> Great. Um, I <laughs> I feel a bit flustered now because I was kind of hitting a hitting a groove, and now I'm all sweaty and a bit stressed. <laughs> so, oh god. Uh, um, if anyone has joined the stream again, um, really sorry that happened. Um, it's not very often my internet cuts out, uh, especially these days. And if you are back watching, um, <laughs> just please uh, give us a hello. Um, tell me how this stream looks and sounds. From my end, watching it back, it looks and sounds perfectly fine. But I do just want some clarification. And as well as that, when it comes to uploading it to YouTube, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know whether to upload it in part one, part two, or to edit it all together and just put like a little break in there to basically say, internet crashed, let's do this again. <laughs> Perfect. Um, but yeah, ultimate hunting. Um, I don't care if it's better than Call of the Wild. I don't care if it's worse than Call of the Wild. I just want a game to play, to hunt. Um, yeah, I, I feel I feel like the wind has absolutely been kicked right out right under right out of my sails. Um, I feel a bit flustered. <laughs> but on the stream uh, preview, it says I've got three viewers, so hopefully that that's a good sign. Hopefully, um, gonna have actually. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test my stream by uh, sending my link to myself and seeing if it actually works. <laughs> and I'm hoping this doesn't buffer my internet in any way. Sounds good, looks good. Oh, hello, Whale Toaster. That is a, a very unique name. I've never seen that around. There we go. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, what's just happened is we've just had a technical issue. Um, my internet kind of just imploded on itself for, like, half a second, which kicked out my connection to Twitch. And... My heart is going ten to the dozen because I was having a good conversation <laughs> and I've kind of lost where I was <laughs> and I feel bad because I got raided about 15, almost 15 minutes ago and they're all thinking that I've got the raid and I'm gone and I hope people are still around because <laughs> that was really, really cool. <laughs> God, what is going on? 
there's a moose over there. Because my aim is to try and get over to this sort of corner over here. Whew, I've gone really, really hot and clammy now. Um, very uncomfortable. But yeah, it's not very often my internet cuts out. And I'm hoping that it doesn't do that again. Because I'm just saying it now. If my internet does cut out again, um, I don't know if I will come back, if that makes sense. I'll try and see if there's actually any problems with the internet. Ah, we got a new zone. Oh, the zone is literally right behind me technically. Okay. Um, we're going to have to be very careful now then. Why is it actually saying that? Anytime I'm on Yukon Valley, things mess up. I think Yukon Valley for me is a jinx. A big, big jinx. See, because my whole idea is uh, with hunting moose on Yukon is from looking at record books and seeing the size of moose in general uh, from people in Canada and like Alaska is they have like massive moose. So I want to try and replicate that in Call of the Wild and have a massive moose from that kind of same area. Actually, let's see where um, Expansive Worlds puts Yukon. So like it's on the border between Alaska and Canada. So yeah, that makes sense with the big sized uh, moose. But, so far Yukon has never actually produced much, much in the way of big moose. Which is really sad actually, because the one place I'm going specifically for uh, big moose is the one place that it never produces big moose. Uh, unless I need to go to different areas on the map. Um, the biggest moose I've got on Yukon is over in uh, this area. I think the best place for me uh, playing Call of the Wild is, for moose anyway, is Leighton Lake. Leighton Lakes? Leighton Lake. Uh, I need to clarify. Leighton Lake. Okay, cool. Oh, it's the Lake District. Oh, yeah, they have. Yeah, okay. Because I'm, I'm thinking now of the... Um, I'm thinking of all the, uh, what's the word for it, the river systems, because obviously there's a couple of lakes, like I know that I haven't been on there in a long time, but they have a lot of like small river systems linking a lot of it together. Oh, I feel really flustered. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that happened. I'm half tempted to say I'm going to fast travel to a outpost and just take a breather <laughs> for a couple of minutes. Because I, I, I do feel like I was really hitting my stride. But... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to fast travel. <laughs> Take a couple of minutes and... Oh, man. Don't you just hate bad internet? I do. Because I was having a proper nice conversation as well. <laughs> proper nice. But... Just going to spend some time looking at Twitter on my desktop. feel really bad for anyone tuning in just because it's not the kind of uh, stream that I wanted this to to be like and obviously I know I have no control over uh, 
internet crashing and stuff like that, but I think it says a lot about me in a weird way, about how maybe not giving up, even though part of me just really wants to just give up, <laughs> but I can't. I, I wanted to stream today, and all I've done is taken down a level 3 moose, and that was about it, and removed some trophies from my lodge. God. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to just switch maps. Yukon always jinxes me in whatever way, shape or form. Uh, you know what, I'm going to switch it up first, see if we can have any luck at another um, sort of like lake area. If nothing good comes from it, we will switch to maybe Leighton, we'll go old school with it and go to Leighton for a bit. Um, yeah. I hope I don't sound like a right pansy or anything, just by being taken aback just by rubbish internet. But... That's not how I intended the, the stream to go in the slightest, but... Don't you hate having anxiety when everything's going perfect and then all of a sudden everything just fails? <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Saying that, I used to have zones all up and down here at one stage. Um, I think it was after the last PS4 update. Or it was after one of the updates, it reset the population of every single map for me. And since then, I haven't really had much luck on any map. So, just going to take a bit of a meander, maybe to about here. If obviously nothing good comes of it, we'll uh, just take a trip to Leighton, maybe get some whitetail, um, maybe look for moose on there as well. God, my heart is literally in my chest right now, <laughs> like I can feel it, like I can feel my heartbeat in my ears still, but as Obviously, being a theatre kid, they say the show must go on. Oh, that was my coaster again. Sorry. So I think the title for today's hunt, well, for today's stream, really encapsulates this whole you never know what's going to happen sort of thing because it says let's see where this hunt takes us I didn't think it would take us to uh, an internet crash but oh well <laughs> but for anybody that is that is here um, that has made their way back to the stream I was talking about ultimate hunting um, I can't wait I really can't wait not because it's going to be different to Call of the Wild, where, in a weird way, I hope it is different to Call of the Wild because, at the moment, the only sort of like more modern day hunting games are Hunting Simulator 2 and Call of the Wild. And as much as I do like Hunting Simulator 2 and I like Call of the Wild and I like hunting in Red Dead, it's... I don't want to be playing Call of the Wild every time I want to hunt an animal. Um, I don't want to put Call of the Wild on a pedestal. Like, it's a very good game. But... 
I just want something different. I will say though, I'm, I'm really glad it didn't crash the game. The last time I had um, a problem with my internet, the whole PlayStation just sort of just went, nope. So, at least this time. At least. We've, uh, we've got better luck and the actual game has, has said like, oh, you can keep playing, you can keep playing. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to see how uh, the team behind Ultimate Hunting do moves. Because I know the team that do Hunting Simulator 2, I wouldn't say have done a bad job, but they've definitely not made moves like massive. They've done a good enough job for obviously what they can do. But yeah. I think when I upload the VOD to YouTube, I'm going to have it titled The Hunter Call of the Wild. Let's see where this hunt takes us and uh, the attack of anxiety. <laughs> and people think, ah, maybe he's just maybe playing it up a bit. Maybe it was a, a bad hunt. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Oh, it really is a small moose, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't even get. Oh, <laughs> uh, just don't do it with small moose like that. I just don't have the heart, even though I could have heart shot him. But yeah, it's neither here nor there. So, how's everyone Saturday doing? Mine was doing okay up until... Wait, is that just... Why are you like this? So, I've just removed a moose zone from my map. Uh, whoops. Great. Um, not what I wanted. Yeah, I think I am going to switch it up to good old Leighton Lake. Oh, man. This is where the game's going to crash on me now, isn't it? Because I've always had problems with Leighton since True Racks, where uh, the game crashes quite a lot. Okay. So let's see what state I left Leighton Lake in last. So we hunted a bit over there. Uh, is that my usual hunt? No, it's not. My my favourite whitetail area has always been this. And as you can see, none of my zones are here. And that's due to the last update. Yeah, because I had whitetail zones up here as well. Um, and I had a few around here. But they're all gone. And it's heartbreaking. It's very, very heartbreaking. But... <sighs> yeah. And I had white tail zones here as well. Um, no, it was here. Um, Mushroom Lake. This was another good trusty spot for me as well. Uh, was Mushroom Lake. Uh, you can even see I've even got a tent and a hunting structure. Tree sand. I'm trying to get to my tent. There we go. Yeah, so if we... Ah, mating call. If we have a look what we're carrying. We're carrying the 270, which should be good for whitetail and blacktail. Uh, yeah, we'll carry the 270. We will keep... No, we won't. There aren't any predators on this map, so we can just drop that. Oh, man. Right, let's go through this whole thing again. Oh, we got rid of that. Oh, we, we're trying to get rid of the scope. 
we're going this way. Uh, we need to get rid of that. Uh, no, we don't. I don't use the bleat that much. I prefer the um, the deer grunt. I think the deer grunt works perfectly with um, white tail and black tail. The deer bleat caller. I don't think I've ever had much of a success rate uh, in comparison. Anyway, so even though I'm taking all of those different callers, um, probably not going to use them. And we will get into my forest camo. Uh, inventory. Let's have a look. Uh, laws. Laws, laws, laws. Actually saying that, since we're getting in a tree stand, I might bring out my bow. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Bring out a bow. Even though, obviously, I want to try and keep it realistic and have, like, not as many weapons as possible on me, I do want to at least have a bow. Um, crossbow or actual bow? I'm thinking actual bow. Uh, compound, that is. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking actual bow. Crossbow. Yeah, why not? I'll give the crossbow a whirl. Uh, it's been a long time since I used the crossbow. Uh, if I'm honest. Yeah, been ages since I've used the crossbow. Um, let's get all the bolts out of uh, storage. Dust them all off. Which means, if we use in the crossbow, we need the hawk and um, the sight for it. And my favourite one is the warden. Uh, it matches. It sort of matches the the outfit style of um, the camo. That I'm wearing. So yeah, we got. A, we'll have the two seventy four long range, and we'll go with the bow for short range. Since we're gonna, I'm just gonna de-stress a little bit and sit in a tree stand a little bit whilst we um, wait for like white tail and black tail and everything to meander on by. So. Ah, this has also given us some zones to grab, which is quite nice. Uh, a nice easy way to sort of get a zone. Yeah, it's a rest zone for Blacktail. We've got our sight in. And this is what I used to do for a lot of the time when I used to play. Is this latent? It is. It is. Uh, we've switched up for the time being. Um, because my internet went out for like half a second and it kicked the stream off. Um, my anxiety has decided to show its face a little bit. And one of my favourite areas on this game is this area right here uh, a nice view of mushroom lake and i'm just gonna sit in a tree stand for a bit and just comfort hunt basically and hope i mean i really hope that something does come in because otherwise i'm just gonna be set up here like an absolute schmuck uh so that zone is actually for up there so, that did not help it in the slightest. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so I've got a black tail zone for 9 o'clock until 1.30. And one for 1 until 5. 
Yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna have to keep calling because I know Whitetail congregate, um, or at least they used to congregate around that area. Um, I used to get some congregating uh, up on this shoreline just here as well, but since the population reset a long time ago, it's not worked out in my favour in the slightest. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can at least get something. But to be fair, my um, expectations aren't too high now. Really not high at all. What the heck is that shadow? I think that might have been a duck. Do you know when the map comes out on console? Well, uh, Expansive World said it'd be about July, but with how many bugs have completely decimated the PC release, I reckon it's going to be an August release. Um, personally, I think it is going to be later in the summer rather than earlier. Which, to be fair, I don't mind... Because if all the bugs that are happening in the PC release come to console, I'm probably not going to play the game um, as much as I want to. Which sucks, because I'm really starting to get back into playing it again. But then... I mean, at the end of the day, I hope it all smooths out and... We do get a nice clean... Um, update for PS4 and Xbox eventually, but I just don't think it's going to be anytime soon. I do reckon it'll probably end up being August. Yeah, late July, uh, early August. Um, unless, obviously, there are major bugs, but Again, I'm not going to have high hopes about it. I think the only thing I want, really, is just a white tail. <laughs> I just want a white tail to come by now. Uh, saying that, I might show you guys later the uh, Legacy Rack white tail that I've got. Um, if you've visited my channel whilst I'm offline, you'd have probably seen it then. Um... Yeah, I absolutely love it. But saying that, I heard somewhere along the way that they changed whitetail spawns. Um, and that different things to do with whitetail. So I'm thinking now, all the whitetail that I used to have congregate around this area, around drink time, aren't going to be here anymore. So I'm going to stray a little, little bit away from where we are now. I'm just gonna check a bit closer to the water. I'm just gonna, cause I know at one stage I used to have set, uh, stuff set up around here as well. Imagine the great one just comes out of nowhere. Ah, uh, I'd love it. I would love it. Well, depends because there's different variations on the great one rack and there's one which I really do want because it does look like a massive book that someone that I follow on Instagram has had in real life. But if it's anything like what Expansive World showed off when they first put it out, I'm going to be honest, I'd sooner pass upon that opportunity. Yeah, so it seems as though... My old white tail spot just doesn't exist anymore. Which is sad because this used to be my go to area for white tail and now it's gone. Unless these. No, that's a black tail rest zone. So it seems as though we're getting more black tail up in this area because I know we only occasionally 
got blacktail in this area. Um, and it was sort of like on the occasion. But this means now I have to actually go exploring the map again for Whitetail. So if I... I know I'm doing a lot of fast travelling and everything, but this needs, this begs the question now. The area that I used to hunt for Whitetail before Mushroom Lake, I wonder if that isn't a new hot spot again. Because... Uh, at one stage, my hotspot used to be where I'm fast traveling to now. And then it moved over to where Mushroom Lake is. And then it changed again. So I'm going to change the time of day uh, one more time. I'm going to change it to 12.19. Typical of the bad weather's here. We're going to work our way up this area. And we're just going to see what happens. Um... Because I know at one stage, I think it was, yeah, it was about here, I got my diamond um, legacy rack. So maybe today we could try and replicate it. Maybe. Um, I know that was on a friend's, um, on a friend's map, though, so. We could always try, um, doesn't hurt. I think the only thing that's going to be the downside to all of this is the scent going in the wrong direction. But I think all I want to do right now is go the right way. <laughs> uh, yes, back this way. Um, I just want to rediscover all my zones because this whole area was littered with whitetail zones. And for whatever reason, they're all gone now. So if I can get some decent zones then I'll, I'll be happy but yet again though saying this I'm reminded as to why I stopped playing because I can already feel the flood of nostalgia already uh, hitting me from when I was on the white tail grind to get a diamond and about how exhausting it was just trying to Go the same areas to check upon all the spawns and well we've got a moose um drink zone still in, still there so uh it's a shame it's not a bigger moose because we could have fulfilled what i wanted earlier uh we'll take it though I think this is the only problem when you don't play a game for so long when things change because then even though I've now got the opportunity to hunt and to actually go like ah oh, there's a zone there and ah oh, there's a zone here and it's being able to do it all again and it's whether or not I have the patience to sit here and literally just just look <laughs> for it all but I think that gives me an opportunity though to see things not from a different perspective but from different vantage points and everything else so we've got that moose there that's fleeing because of my scent um yeah because what i used to do at one point was like stand on this one side of the bank and then just shoot straight over but I don't know. We will see, we will see. Sometimes what I usually tend to do is... Fire off a couple of calls. Because it's not even drawing them out. That's not the thing that I usually tend to do to try and draw them out. Is I do it just to see if there's anything in the area itself. But even if we don't actually get anything for the Trophy Lodge today, I think just the experience of, of knowing that my Whitetail Zones are completely gone. Yeah, 
Yeah. Because I, I had several different herds literally around this area at one point. That's quite sad. <laughs> it's quite sad, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, because all of this is sort of like one big river. And obviously you've got this lake, that lake, and then you've got all like the different ones like dotted around. Whew, I really feel like defeated by the fact that all my white tail zones are gone and this confirms it. But I think it's a chance to maybe potentially get new ones. I will say though, um, I don't like doing this whole hunting for zones without like a podcast or a music because like with podcast and the music it and, and a music and music, it's like I can sort of tune out and just not feel so intent on going like, yes, I need this specifically. I want this and but I feel like there has to be some sort of pressure when doing it on stream. People want to see things there. Heck. I can't tell if there's anything around. Just gonna... Just call out a little bit. See if there's anything actually around here. Because I could have swore I seen like a spot thing appear on the screen. Either that or I'm losing my mind. Probably just losing my mind. There's a guy I used to watch uh, a while ago play Call of the Wild and he was like very very slow. Uh, when playing, so like he'd uh, crouch everywhere he went. Um, the only time he'd use ATVs is uh, when he first gets onto the map and he'd unlock everything first. And I try, I say I tried doing that, like I like doing that too, except for the whole crouch walking everywhere, it's way too slow, way, way too slow. So apparently I've just discovered a zone, but it didn't appear. It's interesting. Never mind. I don't know why I just crouched. I don't I have no need to crouch yet. Unless I... I know there was another one that I had um, further up here. But I can't exactly remember where it was. Or am I thinking over in this direction? Yeah, I'm thinking over here because I had a whole set here as well of um, white tail zones. You know what? We'll change the time again one last time. For real one last time this time. And we will give it a shot. Uh, we'll go for early 12. Saying that though, I think with the amount of uh, time changing that I'm doing, it's probably helping with the respawns, potentially, because, like I've mentioned before, it seems as though the Facebook group, everyone on the Call of the Wild Facebook group, seems to have a point about respawns, so hopefully they're right about that. 
because there does seem to be some sort of logic about like five in-game days and all like the stuff that you've killed will respawn and like obviously you'll get better ones or worse ones or however else it works but if I take a quick sprint all the way over there and we will see if we can get anything any zones I think this is the thing that I like but dislike about Leighton Lake um, I'm very familiar with it I've spent I would say a good 55 to 60 percent of my time in Call of the Wild on this map um, it feels like home but then at the same time because I've spent so much time on it and there's so many different areas that I've hunted it's also a bit overwhelming because all of the grind for like the white tail and the black tail that I did and the moose and it feels like I'm just getting back into those shoes and I can't seem to get myself out of that grind mentality of like need to get this need to get that kill this amount by this time and I can't relax as much as I used to um I know it's a bit easy with Hirschfelden uh relaxing on that map because that map is just generally quite hard to hunt especially for like a new player because of how I wouldn't say how weak it is for like its animal density but it there isn't as many animals roaming that map as it seems as though there are on Leighton then obviously Silver Ridge Peaks just I've had incredible amount of luck uh, last stream with uh, Silver Ridge so yeah we're not too far away from where I used to sort of get all my different zones see but even seeing this area of the map it's like I can already remember like all the grind that I did that I put into this game um I even took a trick out of Zaggy's and Flinter's uh, book by server hopping, uh, seeing what zones people had and what their animals were like. And I got a fair good few um, animals, uh, none which made it to the lodge, but I got quite a bit of decent coin out of it. I got a lot of money out of it. We've got a decent sized moose over there. Oh my god, we've got an albino mu m moose. moose as well. That's interesting. Um, hang on. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in the area. Ah, uh, see, I already have had an albino moose before. On my. Before the trophy lodges came out, I had killed an albino moose. But obviously because the trophy lodges didn't exist then, I had nowhere to put it. So I'm tempted to say I'm going to have to go for this one. Yeah, I think I think that is the right call to do, is to to go after this albino moose so have um, expansive world changed the um, the drink zones and stuff for the for the different animals because it seems as though I'm getting more moose now around my old times I literally don't know about this game anymore <laughs> or do we want to go and 
sneak. Because that's how I got my first diamond moose. Is sneaking. Uh, being sneaky with the bow. So if we can replicate it with um, crossbow. So we can take down that level 4 with the 270. Um, yeah. I think that sounds like a decent plan. I don't have many bolts, but that's fine. Uh, we're quite a distance away still. So I think it's best if we just carry on crawling along the grass, seeing what we can do. Because if there is anything else in this area, I don't really want to spook it. Yeah, I think if we can get close as possible. I think that helps us in the long run. Oh, there it is. Right. It's always when you're like this close that you need to be careful. Oh. Still calm. But it's moving. See, and this is the problem with taking too long. Is uh, is this whole situation that I've got myself into now, with uh, trying to catch up to it and try not to spook it. But it seems as though they have already spooked. Which is fine, to be honest. I mean, I don't like the idea of killing females anyway. Um, from like a trophy hunter's perspective, like you wouldn't necessarily kill the female. So you know what? I've got a an albino moose on my map. I'm quite happy with that. And... You are also fleeing. And that's what happens when you take too long and then all of us and start hurrying up. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So what's going on with all these white hell zones then? Like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What is the best place now for white hell then on this map? Because I know I used to have white tail zones all up here as well. I've still got black tail zone up there. Could try it that way. This is a real head scratcher. <laughs> I have no idea what, what's happening with white tail zones now then. I feel like I'm really out of the loop just because I haven't played for so long. Especially on Leighton, anyway. Oh, that's just a warning thump. Have they changed the time for the Whitetail? I'm honestly really dumbfounded now as to whether or not, like, Whitetail times have changed and. Because none of the areas that I used to go to have stuff in it. Because this is all moose. Like, yes, I do want a moose. Like, don't get me wrong. But I want some whitetail. <laughs> Give me some whitetail game. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Ugh. Saying that though, the white tail drink time is. Oh, have I got it wrong? Is the white tail drink time like one o'clock onwards? Have I been doing it wrong this whole entire time? Uh, I might have done. You know, I really might have done. Um, 
I don't know. I'm just going to keep walking around. Uh, if I do spot anything, I'll uh, try and take it down. Because I know Whitetail Drink Time used to finish like 3, 3.30. But I don't know what time it starts anymore. Is it 1 or is it 12? Austin Ducky, hello. How are you? How's your Saturday going? But yeah, it seems as though uh, I have no clue what's going on with this game anymore. And this is what happens when you take massive breaks. You absolutely lose track of everything that's going on with this game. Yeah, because again, Whitetail used to just flood this entire area on my... When I used to play. And now... We don't have anything... I'm good, it's going good. Good, good, good. Oh man, my legs need to stretch out a little bit. Are you on PS4? I am indeed on PS4. Um, I'm... I've been playing Call of the Wild since probably around like the first or second week it came out on console. And it's only been recently I've been playing it again. Um... I stopped playing not long after the Yukon Valley DLC came out and up until that point I bought every DLC and the newest DLC I've bought is Silverage. Can we do multiplayer together? Um, not today because um, I'm just trying to re like get my bearings again in the game. Um, get used to Leighton Lake again. Um, but potentially next stream, which will be next weekend, if that's fine. Um, plus as well as that, I think my internet is very ropey today. It's very bad. Um, my stream crashed earlier. And I lost, I wouldn't say a lot of viewers. I mean, it's the most viewers I've had uh, in one session. But... I just want to make sure my stream keeps going and I don't really know how my internet's going to handle jumping into multiplayer just yet. So next weekend, well, in a week's time uh, on the Saturday, if that's fine, I can open up a multiplayer session and do that. But I think today I just want to spend a little time in single player and just walk around and get my bearings again with uh, single player. Especially that way, then, if I do end up finding the Great One, at least no one else can steal it from me. <laughs> um, to be selfish with that. Um, but yeah, I, ho I hope you understand. Um, I'm not doing it just out of... Uh, for any other reason. I just want to get used to playing more and obviously being on this map more again. Why is this area so full of moose? Go away, moose. Literally, this whole area at one stage used to be whitetail, blacktail, and uh, elk. Ah, <gasps> whitetail. We aren't. We aren't wrong. We got our first signs of life, <laughs> which isn't good because my scent is literally going in that kind of direction. I mean. If there are any decent sized books, I mean, we might take it on the run, but. At least I know Whitetail still sort of visit this area. Kind of. Uh, we've got more moose. Uh, moose doing aerobics. Um, oh, that's a black ta blacktail. Okay. Um. Will there be any more, dear? 
moose uh, alert over there. Yeah. I think, potentially, we can go back to Mushroom Lake. Maybe try it now. See if anything's going on. See if we've got any white tail uh, about now. Before we do anything, I'm just going to drop out a little call. Uh, and switch the ammo to the um, smaller grain. Yeah, we're just going to camp back up here. Now my game is actually processing that we do have Whitetail. And I do have some back in my old area where I used to have some. I just want to make sure we've got Whitetail over here as well. Which I'm judging by the lack of anything. We might not have any. Which sucks because I was literally looking to get something and we haven't gotten anything. Um. If we get down from here, uh, don't need to place a waypoint. Don't know why I did that. Let's go. Because I know I occasionally had stuff around here. We could try it. Maybe. Um... Judging by that resounding bit of silence, I don't... Because I know I used to use this area for duck hunts. But I don't really bother with um, ducks that much anymore. Yeah, does it seem to be any so sign of anything around here? That's a shame. That is an absolute shame. Uh, let's fast travel around to... To here, why not? I'm just trying to revisit old areas just to see if things still are kind of the same, which they might be, or things might have moved a little, but unless uh, I was Call of the Wild, unless Expansive World have made it harder to um, get certain species. I used to at one point be able to get like loads of blacktail from this area. Um, occasionally I got a whitetail that passed through, but it wasn't very often. And it doesn't seem... Yeah, you know, it literally seems as though Leighton Lake is dead, apart from like ducks and moose. Well, hello there. Okay. Seems like we might have a little bit of luck around this corner of the the lake. Yeah, so if I put waypoint on for there. Because I've had rest zones for whitetail <clears throat> sort of around this area, but I've never had a drink zone. 
So it seems as though whatever Expansive World did uh, for the last update on PS4, well, for consoles anyway, they've moved things around, potentially. Uh, Coyote can shut up. Yeah, this is where now I'm going to find loads of like white tail zones all around here, isn't it? I mean, I hope so, but I doubt it. Yeah, because I'd have seen some by now. Yeah, I think I think it's best if I kind of slow down. Uh, if we, so that's roughly where the white tail are, just up there. Um. So now the thing is, when looking for specific things, is you need to be really, really careful. And at one stage, I did ha have uh, tree stands and and stuff all set up along here, so it'd be a lot easier. But because I wasn't getting any successful stuff from here, I gave up. So now I really wish um, I left them. And there's a bear over that way. We do not care for you, bear. We are after some white-tailed deer. Do you think it would be a smart idea just to, if I started calling them in? Because I'm going to be honest, kind of don't have the patience. But at least they're calm, so at least I haven't spooked anything out. But then the thing is, when obviously they all come trotting over towards me once I've called, um, it becomes harder then to see if there's any males in the group because all the females have just swarmed, all the does are around. But we shall see, we shall see. Of course, this is another issue if uh, there aren't any uh, books in this group. I think this would be the only reason why I want um, Rancho Delareo, Delareo, Delareo. I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, to come to console quick, and to obviously be bug free, just so I can resume my white tail hunt over there. Um, give me the sort of look and feel of like Red Dead Redemption in Call of the Wild would be perfect. Because I think out of all the animals in Call of the Wild, I think the better looking animals are like definitely the white tail and like the mule deer. Well, for true racks, I think the moose, mule deer and um, the caribou are the best. But for overall sort of, not overall looks, but you're a two. Okay, so we've at least got one male in this group. Um, we are encroaching on their uh, zone a lot closer. And that looks quite realistic for a rack. Um, for the true racks, anyway. So if we can just get ourselves in just to this little spot here. What I might start doing is calling... Uh, yeah, and then seeing if perfect. We've got a few different uh, males about. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with this. Yeah, cool. So, so now we do know we've got. Um, Please don't ruin this for me. I hope I hit it in a good spot. 
Uh, it didn't look like it. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> uh, now, this begs the question, did I actually hit it in a good spot? Because <laughs> I don't think I did. Uh, it's a decent blood splat. No vital organs hit. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> but it is down, so... It's just uh, a matter of finding it. God damn it. So far today, my shots really haven't been the best. So... That sucks. Uh, it did head back this way. Um, I think maybe this way no that was coming towards me if we head back to the first blood splat That was going that way. Yeah, there's the blood splat. Feel like Scooby Doo, spread out, look for clues. You know what? I think I just got too excited at the fact that there was a white tail. And I probably shouldn't have shot. <laughs> so this does indeed beg the question, will I find it? <sighs> Perfect. This is what getting um, being almost entirely brand new to the game does to you. You uh, you basically forget just patience, and then any kind of event that happens, you uh, you want to just jump jump back in and. start again or whatever it is couldn't have gone that far surely surely it could not have gone that far to be fair I wasn't paying attention to where it went so it could have gone anywhere. Um. It could have gone down by the water. Maybe. Um, maybe. So this is the problem. Wait. <gasps> oh my god. Was not expecting that. You watch, this is only going to be a small one. Bronze. Yeah. I mean, it's not as big as it looked. Uh, 
Oh yeah, also by the way, they changed the tail um, in the new update for PC. Um, can't wait to see that because it just looks weird at the moment. But that would have been a nice gold or whatever it was. Yeah, oh well. Is that deer I can hear? Or have I been drinking too much beer? I can see some. They're all congregating down there. That looks like a lot better of a shot compared to the other one. You know what? I don't like the idea of redemption shots, but that was... that was nice. That was splendid. Now we've just got to make sure we don't get ambushed by any of the uh, running deer. Right, so what's our... yeah, we've got a lot of hunting pressure around here. So, oh, that's a new noise. I have not heard the um, snortwees come from Whitetail in this game in a long time. So where did we hit it? Oh, not that much of a good shot then. Right, I think business is picking up. We got you there. If we can take out another. Oh, another Whitetail drink zone. Perfect. I think this is the upside to using the crossbow. Is uh, those deer would have been long gone by now. That cluster of them. Why do you look massive? Ah, eh, fair. Be fair. Ah, that one's quite nice too. Do I take that one? Or do I wait and see what is about? You're a fair, fair sized one. Oh, I've already seen that one. I'm just trying to get the fix on that nice one that I've seen. Just trying to get a view of it. Because if I can find it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it, I think. Oh, and they're all coming around the side. Stop it. And I think that might be our one. I can't tell from this angle. Unless that's him. You're interesting. You know what? You know what, that guy there, he's, he's interesting. I like the cut of his jib. And... Down. Uh, 
And that, I think, should do it for the whitetail hunt in this area. Um, my hunting pressure is getting big. <laughs> so... That was the guy. You know what, let's go to the guy we originally wanted. Seems fair. That's a nice rack. You gotta admit, that's a clean looking rack. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is nice. That is nice. Uh, but, unfortunately, I don't want that in the lodge. As, as nice as it looks, I don't necessarily want it. But this one, on the other hand, is a nice one. Look at that. That's interesting. Hell to the yeah. So it's a fair, fairly decent sized white tail. Um, gonna take a screenshot of it. Wait for that to sort of pop up on the the thing. There we go. We've got a screenshot. Gonna taxidermy it, and we're gonna keep it. Because that is a bloody interesting looking rack. Um, we're going to quickly fast travel back to our old, old hunting ground. And we're going to have a quick, quick scout to see if we've got any, any sort of sign of life around here. Which to be fair, this is how I found the diamond true rack, whitetail. Um, when I first played, I, I sprinted over to the area and lo and behold, I freaked them all out and there was a, a level three in there. So I'm hoping that this basically confirms white tails still exist on this game for me anyway. Yeah, because we're running to roughly where my old zones were. Oh, I feel much, much better about this now than I did earlier. Sometimes you've just got to get through the bad stuff to get to the good. Just like what I said in part one, or if I merge these two pieces together. Uh, it seems as though that this area might be dead for Whitetail. Um, which is sad. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to this zone. Uh, what used to be quite a formidable whitetail area has been reduced into uh, not whitetail. Perfect. I'm going to have to say, let's go to the trophy lodge and we can we can place this one down and can head back out for a little bit. I don't see the harm in that. Don't see the harm in it at all. Uh, what is my laptop doing? I, I say that every single stream, what is my laptop doing? But I never understand what is going on. Um, I want to start filling up like this entrance piece before anything else. So if we uh, does it say dates, 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 dates. Today's date is the third of July, and that would be today's date. That's not too bad. It's all right. It's not the best. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. It'll do. So, so far we've got... We've got a very American style ranch. Uh, ranch. What am I talking about? Um, 
lodge. Actually, what do these look like? That is weird. Why would you want just... I'm trying to... You know what, I prefer that because you get a better look at its head. Um, I'm going to try and replicate it. If there's any way I can get it to... You're almost where I want you to be. That is not exactly what I wanted. Uh, does it look right? Like, is there any clipping? Nope. No clipping. Um, I don't know how I feel about Whitetail being up here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have the white tail down here. On this stand. Let's... Go for that. Yeah. That looks better. Yeah, because then... Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I will say for the time being, though... Um, Potentially move them. I have white tail behind uh white tail. Uh mule deer behind mule deer. That's nice. But then so is that. Oh look at it. That's so cool. Um and then have my albina. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where did it go? Where did it go? Nah, I don't think the al albino looks great on that big stand. <clears throat> See, the thing is, you want it to look good on its mount. You don't want it to just not look that good. Is there any... Where I can put it. Do you know what? I feel really bad about that Austin Ducky guy. Um, I don't think he's still in stream. Um, I wanted to play multiplayer. And I said no. <laughs> but I did it with a valid, very valid reason. Um, very, very valid. And, and I feel bad. Like, genuinely, I do really feel bad because he was trying to be nice and I wasn't very nice. Well, I was. I did say I don't want to do it, but I do feel bad because he's not here anymore. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just stick to that for the time being. Um have the white tail there. You know what, let's visit my friend's lodge. Because I remember he's got diamonds, I think. Oh god, what is that noise? Ah, okay. So let's have a look. Uh, side strike jackal, moose. Yes, this is his diamond uh, warthog, uh, which I helped him get. And I think, yep, yeah, this is his diamond springbok as well, that I also helped him get. Uh, he's got a decent uh, looking gems bark. Um, nice axis deer. Siberian musk deer. I think at one point he just started just filling filling it up with just stuff. Oh, uh, is this gold? Yes, it is. Nice. It's 
It's been ages. Um, I'm just trying to see now if he's got anything else dotted about. Which I don't think he does. So, uh, if we head back out and head to Leighton again. Head back to Leighton. We'll do a little bit more. And then we will see. We will see what happens. Um, hopefully we get something decent. Hopefully. Right. Uh, pull the phone up. Time we're on about half three. In real life, we're actually at half five. This would be the latest that I've been streaming for. Which isn't too bad. Uh, let's have a look up around this area. Yeah, a, a meander. Let's have a small meander around. See if we've got any... Uh, anything about... Uh, which... I did just see something, didn't I? Whitetail, hello, Whitetail. Got a small Whitetail there. So there's got to be a zone somewhere nearby then, surely. Maybe? I, I don't know. Yeah, they're travelling up that way, which makes me really curious now as to whether or not they've got like a zone behind there. You know what? I'm going to change the time of day. Um, yeah, I'm going to change the time of day. Why not? Uh, the door is over here. We're going to see what happens uh, around this time. Let's see if there's anything around around this area. Yeah, just to see if there's any potential. Because if they've been passing through this area, that would mean that this sort of area here is their drink zone. Or maybe somewhere around here is a drink zone. I don't think it helps coming at this direction towards the water. Because uh, my scent is going literally straight at them if uh, there is any zones up that way. However, I've got a tent somewhere, haven't I? Yeah, I'm going to fast travel to the tent. Uh, it'll give me a bit of a... Uh, hopefully... Whoa. So we did have something around here then. That's fine. If we can call anything back in, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, also, it gives us a good lay of the land from here as well. I will say I should have put down uh, the tent a little bit further away, just so I wouldn't spook things when I come in. But... <clears throat> Did I just get another spot thing come up? Or am I an idiot?
I think I should have changed the time of day whilst I was here rather than fast traveling over here. Yeah, because I think I just made it a bit harder for myself now, haven't I? I was hoping for a lot better than all of this. I was really hoping that I'd walk into this game and all of my zones were still how they were. But they're not. And it's really disheartening because I had such, like, I wouldn't say decent zones. But like I had a, a nice coverage of white tail zones along like certain areas of the map. But now it's just all been sort of reduced to... I wouldn't say nothing. Because we've still got little pieces here and there. But it's only little shreds of things. But I guess because we've already spooked anything. May as well just carry on walking at this point. Gonna, gonna be honest, I actually really am sad about this because a lot of these areas would have been teeming with life. And now a lot of areas where there would have been loads of stuff happening, there's... No, oh, what the heck is going on over there? Well, there were coyotes over there apparently. That's fine. I'm going to see if there's anything still in the area. I think this is the one advantage uh, Call of the Wild has over Red Dead, is callers. Um, Red Dead doesn't have any callers or anything like that. Um, but, but I guess if you leave its spawn area and then take a ride back, you could easily find, find the animal that you're after again anyway, just based on how the, the game works with its spawns and everything like that. So, in one aspect, what the heck was that? Oh, it was a black tail. Oh, it was probably the same one I've seen sprinting off before. Uh, yeah, I'm not too interested, black tail. Not too interested at all. See now, there's areas all around here that it's not that I don't like hunting them, it's, it's more like it's not my favourite place on the map and all of my old white tail zones and everything like that all used to like perfectly fit into all my favourite areas. So like I wouldn't have a problem hunting because it's all in my favourite area. But because I'm so unfamiliar with the map now I'm not struggling. Struggling's not the word I'd use. But I'm sort of feeling like I'm out of place because my favourite area 
and areas are no longer areas that have my favourite animals on this map in. I guess it teaches me in one way to be versatile, uh, to keep looking and and everything, just like the real world, an animal wouldn't always be in one space at the same time. Uh, but it is disheartening, I suppose. I think this is something I need to um, sort of pay attention to, though, because... Apparently, uh, hunting, well, ultimate hunting uh, might have a semi-random um, spawn uh, thing. They they're looking at trying to work around every um, group of animals that spawn is random to that one time that you're on it. So hopefully, getting used to the fact that my my animal spawns on Call of the Wild and very different to how they used to be a few months ago um might result resolve my fear of changing things up if that's the right word wordage that i want to use which personally i don't think that's what i mean to yeah uh I want to take that one. I mean, I don't want to take it because it's small, but judging by how respawns work in this game, yeah, didn't get the right right angle. Um, if we get a bit closer, if we get a bit closer, we can. Take a shot. There we go. And just put a waypoint on. Oh, it feels so nice, let me tell you, getting back into this game. After spending such a long time away and we've actually working for once. Um like I genuinely feel like a good in a weird way i think i think that's the word i want to use good um the familiarity of the game as well is is a big thing um i've honestly lost the word the words that i need to use i've i don't know how to talk anymore yeah so it dropped there is that what I can see? Or is that where it drops? There, there it is. Yeah, because uh, it's only a small one, but straight in the lung. But I think with the amount of time I've been changing the time, I do need money. <laughs> Because I've been changing it a lot this last session or two. Uh, what time are we at? About 25 past 2. 2 in game. Yeah, we'll keep going up this way. See if we've got any white tail up this way. Because I know when I used to play ages ago, I never had any white tail spawns up this way. So, maybe... I used to like this area, saying that though, for the moose and the elk, I used to come up this way a lot before I started doing it on YouTube. So maybe if uh, White Tail have encroached onto this area, encroached is that the word? I, I don't know. I don't know words anymore. But if White Tail are around this area now, I wouldn't mind it. It's just it's not a favourite area for me. But... I will take it regardless. Yeah, I think this is going to be another area that's devoid of whitetail life. 
apart from like that one spot. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, very active right now, does it? Apart from the ducks. But I'm really not interested in ducks. What? Huh? Apparently, there's a uh, two zones. Apparently. We'll keep going around. Uh, keep to this one side, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll stick to just keeping an eye on this side. Well, this lake, well, I say this lake, this part of the river seems to be quite long. So if we follow it around, then maybe we could find something. I will say that's the one part of this game that I'm, that I'm forgetting when it comes to how it works. Is this game is literally about exploring, walking around, observing. And that's the one thing I'm trying not to do as much as possible, which I should be doing as much as possible. So, I need to change my attitude. <laughs> when Literally, I do need to change my attitude. Um, yeah. I don't know why, but even taking the paracetamol, I still haven't got rid of my headache. It's still here. Very, very annoying. But that is fine, that is fine. At least we're not playing like um, an overly loud shooter or anything. At least these sounds are quite nice, relaxing. Seems as though we are still in elk territory. Um, yeah. They look like um, zones, so I'm going to have to check this out to see if uh, any elk are around here. Oh, it's a moose drinking zone. Not gonna lie, even though I was talking about moose loads earlier, uh, I'm kind of not interested. <laughs> In a weird way, I'm really not interested. can't deny how beautiful this game is though look at this you can see why people call Silver Ridge Peaks Leighton Lakes on steroids because Leighton is literally not identical to this but it's very uh, similar very very similar
To be fair, this used to be literally my favourite thing to do. Is just walk around in silence. I remember when I first got the game as well, I really played like really realistic with it. Because like, I didn't know how the game worked. So I assumed it was like very realistic where like you sleep and everything and obviously about like hunting animals at night. Also back in that time as well, spine shots were the ones to like drop animals dead in their tracks and obviously you keep integrity on that and but it's changed now. It's really nice because the most realistic shots are the ones that down the animals rather than how it used to be where it was just straight spine shot it. See, this is where I start to wonder now whether or not there even is anything going up this way. Because I think by now I would have seen something. I think that's where I reckon it's just going to be... Uh, not Whitetail, um... Elk and everything, I think it's just going to be... Just the same as it was. I'm just disheartened, at, mainly. I'm just really, like, sad that I don't have any of my old zones, like, bar one or two. Like, it's all gone. I think at one point in time that was the really cool thing was showing people ev like showing everyone um <clears throat> all the different zones you had and basically going like oh I've got this here and this here and I mean I guess to a degree that's probably still true people still to take pride in all their zones and how many they've got but yeah I mean, really, it's really unrealistic because even though animals do have like drink times and eat times and stuff like that, like body cycles do go out of sync or because of like one bad experience, they'll never go to that area again. But in this, if you shoot an animal, it will respawn and obviously still use the same zones. So I guess in one aspect, it's even though it's realistic, it's also unrealistic in that fashion. But I think it's just one of those things, I mean, every game's different and sometimes it's good to sort of break the monotony of real life where everything's regimented by how life works. I think it's nice to be a bit different. You know what, we'll give it a, a quick go over here as well. Uh, we'll reset the time one last time.
definitely a one last time because I'm looking at the actual time and I'll be going for food soon. I'll be getting food. So I'll spend enough for say 20 minutes and then if nothing we will have to continue this maybe another day. Um, do it 20 past one and we'll head down to the water. Right, at least the wind's behind us this time. This time. I would take the path, but I kind of want to get there quick. I want to kind of explore this side of the um, of the water. So if we stop sprinting and keep our eyes peeled. I think that's another beautiful part about this game as well is uh, there could be 10 minutes of just like constantly finding animals and then like about seven or eight hours of literally just like one. It's weird, like it's nice weird, but it's um, frustrating at the same time because it's like I want to find X amount of this and this, this and this and the game's just like, nope, you can have this, take it or leave it. And in a way, it's kind of special really, isn't it? I guess this is one of those games as well where you have to put like a lot of time and dedication into it to get the results you want. Um, which I've got no problem with. I mean, I put, I put hours upon hours, like hundreds of hours into this game. I even stopped playing Red Dead, one of my actual favourite games, and to play this more. But it doesn't look like... It doesn't seem like we'll have any white tail around this area. Or at least, just this part. Even though this is one of the nicest views, because you come out of the woods this like really open area and I think this would be one of the nicer areas to hunt but depends on times and zones and everything doesn't it and how the game spawns it all in let's see what tracks we've got white tail I'm interested. I think this means I might have to go over to the other side. Uh, well, we've got some going one way and we've got some going the other. Um, I'm curious now. Should I cross over just to carry on going this way? Or... I don't know. I think we've reached a conundrum. Um, I think we really have reached a conundrum here. With tracks going two different ways. Do I want to follow the big book? Or the female? Well, I say big. It's not really that big of a book. I think even if it's any consolation, not having anything to hunt, I think uh, it's still relatively peaceful, which is what I miss about the game. Um, after grinding on the game too hard and getting burnt out, I think just relaxing in it is uh, a great sort of therapy about it. Just I'm kind of doing what I used to do, but not to the extent where 
like, I'd, I'd get angry, if that's a weird thing to say. Like, I never used to get angry, but I used to curse and, and just say, like, why aren't there any spawning around here or why aren't any around here? Um, but I think I know a lot more about the game now and how it, how it works, kind of. So I think... I guess that's just how the game works. Obviously, certain animals spawn in certain areas, but I know on a few different maps as well, there are a few areas where it's just barren and there's nothing going on. I wonder if these are the same whitetail tracks. Uh, they are not. They are elk going that way. Oh, the neighbourhood kids are uh, about. Just hearing a few of them scream. See, this begs the question now. Do I want to carry on going that way? Because I don't think it will produce. Yeah, because the end of the map's like up here. Or do I carry on and go round and into this little cove? So I know I've killed white tail around here before, surely. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Because I know in the past I have seen some around here. It's just whether or not there are any zones around here now. This is where I go back on myself and end up seeing um, white tail of like spawn behind me or something. Which would be very irritating, I, I will put that out, I'd be very irritated because it's the exact spot that I've uh, walked past. This is also another thing, I don't know why I'm checking the ducks. I really don't care about the ducks in the slightest. I think I also need to start hunting at different times. Well, my internet seems to be messing up. Oh. Right, we seem to be okay. Uh. Somehow, I don't think that would have been a white tail. Maybe elk? Maybe. Um... Yeah. I think I think this is going to be like a... a... Oh. Not a white tail, but it's a black tail. Um, interesting. Attentive. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Hang on. Nope. Literally, I went down that way as well. How? Right. Fast travel. And let's go have a closer look. I just don't understand. I think sometimes the game just spawns things behind you. Um, just to obviously keep the world feeling sort of like alive. So no, it just means I've got to slowly close myself in now through, through the wooded area. To be fair, saying that I did start sprinting to begin with. So I could have spooked them out of the area to begin with. To 
be fair, I'm kind of okay with this. Just as long as I know I've um, got a spawn somewhere. Not a spawn. Because um, it's not a spawn, is it? It's... It's a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, a zone. That's it. Right. Need zone. Yeah. Hello, it's a short. How you doing? Yeah, um... Earlier today, uh, my internet crashed while streaming, only for like half a second. And I just haven't been able to uh, get my wording correctly <laughs> uh, since. Um, how's your Saturday going? But yeah, since since that bit of a like, internet crash, I just haven't been able to get my, my head together. I just haven't been able to talk properly, I suppose. Um... New to this map? No, um, I'm not new to this at all. Um, I'm getting used to it again. Is is the phrase that I'd use? Um, back when like True Racks and everything first came out, uh, I literally grinded White Tail like daily uh, to try and get um, a True Rack Diamond um, White Tail and. I burnt myself out in the game right as like loads of bugs were coming into the game. So I'm since then I haven't really played the game much. Um and And yeah, it's just been a long time since I've properly been on Layton and a lot of my zones have just disappeared. So I'm just trying to find out where everything is. <laughs> Because uh, it seems as though all my favourite hotspots for where like Whitetail and like Blacktail have gone, they're not in my favourite areas of the map again now. So I'm trying to find zones in different places and try and be a bit abstract. Because like, I know Whitetail for me were never in this area by Calvin. But it seems as though now I do have a zone in this area which I never had before. So I'm just trying to experiment. And I just want to see if I can draw them out of where they are now. Do you play Call of the Wild much? If you do, when when did you start playing? Did you start playing at a specific like DLC point from the beginning? Going to try White Tail and Rancho as well. Uh Maybe. I, I really hope that the PS4 release for it is going to be smooth and not as rocky as PC. Um, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but I don't have high expectations. Um, Expansive World don't have a very good track record. Um, they make me rage quit a lot, let me tell you. Don't be nervous. I started in November, about 1500 hours. Wow, that's a lot of hours. More than I've ever put into this game, let me tell you. Right, let's have a look. Okay, that's got a widespread. Uh, that's the wrong call up. Why aren't... Go on, go. Scram. Go out, get out of here. I don't like hunting, like, unrealistically, where it's like, if an animal stays there, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna abuse the fact it's still glitched there. But, yeah. It's only a silver, but for respawns, that's not too bad, I suppose. Um, yeah. Not too bad. Uh, animal call over there is a warning call. If I could bring them back in, and that again is the wrong caller. I play this game like it's a, it's a, like it's a game. I stalk the need zones. Yeah, that's what I used to do, uh, quite a lot. 
and I grew bored of it uh, after a while. Um, so coming back into it now, I'm just trying to play the game a bit more, not realistically because that's not the term I want to use, but a bit more relaxed. Because when I first got the game on console release, um, when I play with friends, with friends I shoot whatever. Yeah, I, th I think I think a lot of people's strategy goes out the window when they play with friends. Because um, I know my strategy was just to hunt one specific animal and like specific zones at specific times. But yeah, when playing with friends, it really does go out the window. You just you want to play for the fun of the actual hunt rather than being caught up about statistics and everything like that. I have one real goal, it's a male fallow. Oh, melanistic fallow. I, was, I I just read it as if you put the A and the E in the wrong place. Melanistic fallow. They're beautiful uh, animals, the fallow, aren't they? Um, ooh, what are you, oh, you're a female. <laughs> Go this way. I can't tell if it's thunder I'm hearing outside or if it's people moving bins. Because I know we are uh, due to have a, a storm at some point today. Or at least that's what the uh, weather was forecast. But never believe the forecasts is what I've learned throughout my life. I've got 40 plus diamonds in the process. I call them wooden pennies. <laughs> now, this is the thing. You'd think, with the amount of time I've spent in this game and everything, I'd have quite a few diamonds. I don't. Uh, I think I've got about 10 diamonds in total. 10 or 11 diamonds. And... Yeah. I don't I don't play the game for diamonds. I just play it for... Just the game, I suppose. But at the moment I am doing it for diamonds. I do want to fill up my Twitch lodge with uh, some pretty nice looking things. If it would stand still I'd shoot. <laughs> if it would stand still. I don't like shooting from between trees either because I know the hitboxes can be very temperamental. That's not bad. People can play however they want. Dim diamonds aren't everything. They are a girl but girl's best friend though. Oops. A little bit too high. Oh, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good. My thumb, right as I took the shot, was uh, moved in like a very herky-jerky kind of way. Oh, that's going to be like a spine shot. Confirm trophy. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, not as bad. Uh, we still hit along. Yeah, not bad. Not not your friend. Diamonds aren't your friend. Nice, Nick Lung saved it. Right, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's not bins I can hear. It is actually a storm that I can hear. So, if my internet does go out, which it already has done already today, uh, yeah, then that would be that. <laughs> because, better follow then. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Um, very much appreciated. <laughs> um, wasn't expecting anyone to to follow um especially because like my voice feels very um not chalky but it feels like it's scratchy because of how much i've been talking today but 
I've already had one incident with the internet today going off, and you're all good. Uh, I wish. I wish I was all good. So, with the internet already going off once today, I don't, I don't trust it to stay on if a storm does roll in. And with the fact that I have, I can confirm that I've just had thunder because bins don't move like that. Then, yeah, I, I don't really know where I was going with that. Never usually do when I'm talking. Be safe. Well, I'm indoors and yeah, uh, storms aren't usually that bad um, around here. Um, I'm from England, by the way. Um, Oh, you're heading off? I can't, I can't tell if that be safe is you're heading off or if you're just telling me to just in general be safe. Ooh, interesting. Um, it, no, no, you'd be safe. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, storms aren't actually usually that bad around here. Um, I know... In recent times, we've had more storms come through, but they're never that bad. Just hoping it obviously doesn't kill my internet is the main thing, I think. As long as I can play this for like another half an hour, like stream it wise, uh, I'll be okay. Um, because I'm thinking of getting food soon. Uh, don't know how soon. I'm from Saxon's Raid, by the way. Oh, it's just AFK at work. Ah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, wait, so you're still here then? So the entire time... Well, that raid happened about 10, 20 minutes afterwards. My internet came off. And... It... It came off for like half a second and... That's interesting that you're still here. Well, I really greatly appreciate the fact that you've actually kind of stuck around, even though I was offline for like a good minute or two. Wow, that's fascinating. I came home and the stream was up, so... Ah, okay. Well, I can't complain. Uh, I really can't complain. So... I'm, I'm just glad, I will say, that it actually sticks to the same stream and it doesn't sort of just kick you out of it because at least I've gained that, that view and I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, this is where it runs away. Oh, it, there's a male back there somewhere. Do I need to spray some more scent? I think that is what I'm going to have to do. What's your favourite gun to use in the game, by the way? Uh, mine, I would say, would be the 270. No problem, I liked for, for, uh, I liked for a few. You seem really chill. I, I try to be. <laughs> I really try to be. Um, but yeah, my favourite is the 270. Um, when I first got the game, I didn't like it. I just stuck with the 243 for a long time. But, but yeah, the 270 seems to be one of my go-tos these days. It's a good all-round gun, um, from what I've learned anyway. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're still that female. The male is still there. The animals that seem to stick around, like, up there, oh, okay, seem to be, like, higher level, but this one just is stubborn by the look of it. If I can get a decent shot, I'm going to have to uh, take it. It's alert again. Oh, a bit far to the left of the animal's body. Yeah, that was a bad, bad shot. Yeah, I'm just firing bullets now. I usually run with the 22, 303, 300 and the Solokin. Oh, the Mosin, yeah. Uh, I remember when the Mosin first came out. Um, absolutely hyped for it. Uh, I've never been a fan of, like, older guns. 
like never been a fan, but there was something just about the Mosin that me and a friend really, really dug quite a lot. Um, I will say my friend is a lot better of a shot um, for the Mosin than I am because there's a slight little, um, not delay, it's uh, angled weird and he's perfect with the Mosin. But I am not, unfortunately. Um, love it for the level 3 animals. I mean, the Mosin is all I rocked for a long time. Um, the T43, then I rocked the Mosin for, for a long time. And then, for whatever reason, it, I just booted it one day. Picked the uh, Stradivarius variant of the T43 and... I just stuck with it. And I haven't really gone back I think it's because the way they changed the animal scoring system I think I think that's what's done a lot of it for me is because uh, they changed how um, how everything like that worked uh, so that white tail is down now so it's just finding where it dropped I can't tell what you are from this it's just a a small. I can't find any blue tracks around here. So I'm going to have to go back on myself again. I can tell I'm getting hungry as well. My um, top lift... Top lift. My top lip if, is starting to quiver... quiver uh, can't even talk. I don't think I'm going to be able to find this white tail in the slight in the slightest. Don't let me keep you. Oh, don't worry, you're not. Um, <clears throat> I, th I think I'm just trying to stream for as the heck. Right now, I've got this track. This is the. This is the one I shot, maybe. I'm going to be honest, I think I might have lost lost the one I've just shot. I'm not a very good hunter by the look of it. Ah, actually, never mind. Bleed rate is very low. Just what I wanted to see. <clears throat> Do you have the Hunting Dogs DLC? The latest DLC I got was Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, I bought it last weekend. Um, the last DLC I bought before that was Yukon Valley. Uh, I bought Yukon Valley on release. Um, and then that was that. <clears throat> so I own everything basically up until Yukon. Uh, Yukon was the last. And then I've recently got back into playing the game again recently. Um, oh, so it's been a while since you last played. Yes, I'm very, very rusty. Very rusty indeed. Um, I think I stopped well the main reason why I stopped play, playing the game was because there was a lot of bugs um, and it was just burnout as well because of trying so hard to get so much game is really buggy at the moment just a heads up yeah um, I always give uh, the updates a wide berth now so with Call of the Wild on PS4, um, when the update does come by uh, for it eventually, I'm probably not going to update it for a while. I'm going to see if other players still experience like the same bugs. Uh, if players are still experiencing the same bugs, I'll just give up. I'll just play single player. And yeah, that was such a bad shot. My thumb got really uh, shaky. And yeah. That, that was a bad shot. That's fine though. That's fine. But yeah, the game's always been riddled with bugs. It's just I think it, it hit at the right point for me to jump out of the game. Because I 
played this game for far too long and I concerned myself with caring too much about this game where it is just a game and it was addicted. I admire you playing on console though, I can't can't use controller. See, I don't like PC gaming because even though they say it's cheaper in the long run, there are people that I know that their graphics card have completely blown for playing certain games and it can be expensive but I've always I've grown up playing uh, console always always been a console person so I can't really say um anything bad in one respect because oh the drink the drink time has also finished that's interesting I won't pay attention to the time oh no <laughs> okay which means if I loop round over to the right I think this is going to be my last sort of like part of the hunt before I head off um, because with how shaky my hands and my lip are getting I don't think I'm going to be able to concentrate I'm going to uh, I'm going to see what I can do with uh, hunting this group down uh, see if there's any decent ones to actually shoot there's nothing that decent or anything I'm I think I'm just going to call it a day there, I think, but we will see, we will see. Um, any opportunity to take to take anything down, I'll, I'll take it, even if it means I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, because I can really feel it in my fingertips. Because, like, when you haven't eaten in a long time, you go really shaky. Oh, it's bad. I'm going to have to draw them in. And then circle round them. Just because of wind direction. Food. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm having to eat tonight. I'm literally going to have to make it up when I get into the kitchen. And just see what we've, we've got in the house. Because I'm tempted by pizza. Because I know we do have a bit of pizza. But. I'll see when I get downstairs. Oh pizza. Uh, it's a spicy cauliflower pizza. Uh, I picked it up yesterday at the shop. Sounds weird. I know spicy cauliflower. But it's really intriguing. And I really really like the idea of it. Well. Well. They're just sending out a mating call, so that sounds promising. I'm trying to listen out for footsteps as well. I think it's the spiciness that seems fine. I think it's more the cauliflower bit that I'm interested in. Either they're behind me, or I'm... I've spooked them. I honestly have no idea where they've disappeared to. <clears throat> Just in case if they've gone that way. I'm, uh... Gonna put some scent elimination on. I'm gonna be honest, I've really lost track of where they were. You can tell I'm really getting back into this game only recently. Um, <clears throat> I remember at one point when I was like really grinding out the game, I'd set waypoints where I'd spot them, and then like I'd put like waypoints then where I see a move. But I don't do nearly enough as what I used to. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I might have spooked them out of here. Although I can hear footsteps.
Yeah, I can hear footsteps, I just can't tell which direction they're coming from. More casual play then. Yeah. Um, I think when, even though I love the game to bits and everything like that, I do just want it to be casual and not make a big deal out of it anymore. Like, as much as I'm having so much fun and everything like that, it's, I can't always just put it on a pedestal and, yeah. I can get behind that. Yeah, me too. Um, have fun with the game. Don't take it too seriously like I did before. And just about having fun at the end of the day. And if I'm not having fun, then what's the point in playing? That's the small one. I know the big one's behind, but... I'm going to have to call them out. Yeah. I think that's our big boy. Uh, yeah. Come on. You know what? I don't usually take shots without a scope. And I think that was actually a pretty good shot. I never usually do that without a scope. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm very, very impressed with that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we can't quite tell from this angle. Nice shot. Thank you. Okay, so it was left long, right long. It is uh, only a silver, but... Holy crap. I don't, I don't know if it's been picked up on stream or not, but it's really starting to get quite loud. Which, to be fair, is quite nice. I like it. But yeah, that looks like a fairly realistic um, white tail. Like, there's some, like, I've seen people, like, hunt and stuff on YouTube and everything. But, yeah, I thought he was bigger as well. But I think it's the outline. I put it down to the outline, uh, that blue outline. It makes things look a lot bigger than they are. So, uh, yeah. It reminds me, though, of uh, a white tail that I've seen someone on YouTube hunt. And it does look very, very realistic. But yeah. Originally I did have the crossbow out today as well. That's fine. Right, I think I'm going to... Actually, no, I'll show you my trophy lodge, which I've been working on for Twitch before I head off. Um... Just specifically uh, things that I've um, taken whilst um, whilst playing on Twitch since last weekend, uh, which would only include one animal from t from today and a few from last hunt on Silveridge. So this is a white tail I got earlier. Um, it's not overly big, but it's a decent sized gold. Um, there was two in the group that it was with. Uh, the other one was quite small, but that one was the biggest one in the group. Um, interesting rack. It's very beautiful. Uh, I'll take this off just to see this. Uh, the biggest mule deer I've ever uh, taken in the game. Silveridge Peaks. Um, nice muley, absolutely. Uh, that is just the common... No, it's not common. Uh, the fur type is grey. Uh, so it's not common at all. That, yeah, it is a rack, isn't it? <laughs> and we've got this other mule deer. Um, this one is blonde fur type. So it's... It's only slightly smaller than that one. Uh, but it's still got like that nice shape that you want at the top. Branches out perfectly. Uh, this is all from Silveridge Peaks. Um, about a week, yeah, a week today, because uh, it was this Saturday. Pretty wide, wide one. And even though it's a small one, um, this is a uh, albino mule deer. And when I seen it, 
I couldn't not take it, uh, even if it's so, so tiny. But so far that, oh no, and one more thing, uh, pronghorn, um, my first gold trophy pronghorn as well. Uh, no matter it being small, Albonas are still nice too, they are. And this is my first gold pronghorn as well from Silveridge. Um, I really love pronghorn. Um, my top three animals are literally pronghorn, mule deer and white tail. So, but yeah, that's literally the beginning of my Twitch uh, trophy lodge. And I hope to keep it going. Thank you for actually stopping by and actually staying. Um, and actually uh, following. It means a lot. And I will be live, I think, next weekend. Uh, actually, depending on how tomorrow goes, I'm thinking of having like a really relaxing day tomorrow. But if I fancy streaming tomorrow, then I'll stream tomorrow. But if not, it'll be Saturday. Um, that's when my streams always seem to take place these days, is Saturday. So, if I'm not on tomorrow, it'll most likely be Saturday. Um, my Twitter is the same as my Twitch. And, yeah, you can find my YouTube from there as well, uh, where I do upload the VODs and, yeah. Um... So if there are any changes to what I, when I stream and everything, I'll put it over on the Twitter account. But yeah, uh, thank you to uh, to yourself and everyone else that has joined today. And another thank you to uh, Saxon as well for uh, dropping in with the raid. Even though he's no longer here in the stream. But it really means a lot. It really does. It is completely unexpected for today as well. So yeah, um, thank you for everyone for dropping by and everything. Take care, and I will catch you in the next stream. Goodbye. <laughs>